Hello everyone, my name is Miss Sam and today I'm going to be walking you through our view team Kawaii craft, a DIY chalkboard in the shape of a really cute cat. Let's go! Alrighty, in your craft bag you will of course find your cardboard that you're going to cut out with your shape. You'll find chalkboard paint, pink and white paint all in two, uh, little containers. You'll find two packages of chalk with four different colors inside of it. You'll find a foam brush to apply your paint and that should be everything in your craft bag. You will need a few things from home a pair of scissors to cut up out your shape, something to sketch your shape onto your cardboard, such as a pencil like I'm using, or a pen would, or marker would work great, a plate or painting tray so that you don't get your paint everywhere, and ideally something to cover your table with uh, so that you don't get paint down. I'm going to be using a old newspaper, but you can definitely use any kind of scrap paper. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is sketch out your design on your cardboard. Now you can use the cardboard that we gave you, that's totally cool, or you can use your own cardboard if you want to do a certain shape and this cardboard doesn't work for you. In addition, you don't have to do the shape that I'm going to sketch out, which is a cat. I just think that the cat is going to be really cute and something that I would really want to have. So if you have a different idea, that's also totally fine. But let's get started. And I don't have to be too perfect here because I'm going to be painting over this. So you can kind of see I messed up my line here. Uh, I'm just going to erase a little bit so I know not to cut there. Um, but it's okay if it's, if it's a little wonky because it'll be covered up by your paint. see it there is my cat shape let's cut it out all right so I already put on my first layer because I wanted to um, make sure that wouldn't take too long to watch me do some important things to note when you're putting your paint down first things first you're going to want to mix your paint really well Chalkboard paint tends to separate in containers, so in order to get a really nice consistency, you need to mix it really, really well before you put any down on your cardboard. Next, you're going to want to apply it really evenly, so don't do it too thick and don't do it too thin. You want it to be a nice, even coat of paint. Um, at the end, after you've covered the whole thing, you're going to want to go over the entire thing going the same direction. This is so that you don't have any lines that will mess with uh, when you're writing. I like to go left to right in order to have it just uh, go like that so that when I'm writing it doesn't mess up when I'm writing left to right. So, um, Another important thing after you have put on your first coat, if you want to use your paintbrush again to wash it off before you uh, let it dry. If that chalkboard paint dries on your brush or on your foam, it, you won't be able to use it again. So you really want to make sure you get it out as well as you can and to make sure you set it aside to dry in a nice place because otherwise you won't get to use these tools again. So I actually left my cardboard to dry overnight so that uh, it would be completely dry when I move on to my next step, which is painting on the face. And you can see that it dried pretty flat. It didn't wrinkle or bubble or anything. So it'll be a really nice, smooth surface to draw on later. But I'm just going to draw on my cat's face. 
and if you decided not to do a cat that's fine you can use your paint to do any kind of design that will work for your for your clip or your chalkboard take another <laughs> layer of paint and I want to do his nose pink so I'm gonna just do the mouth right now Turn him around so I don't smudge my paint. All right. Now I don't want this kind of fluorescent pink that we have, so I'm actually going to mix it with some white. And you don't have to do this, I just want to get a kind of more of a pale pink. some more layers because it's a thin kind of a paint. Alrighty, and now the last thing to do <laughs> and that might happen because chalk is so flimsy. You might want to wait until your paint has fully dried, but I just wanted to see how it would be to write on it. And you can draw on this, and you can write notes, and to-do lists, but the chalkboard is yours to use however you want. Thanks for coming along while we made our DIY cute chalkboard. I had a really fun time making this, and I hope you do as well. Bye!